Hi everybody, good morning and happy third Sunday of Advent. If you have been with us this Advent season, then you might know that here at Old Town Kids, we have been talking a lot about getting ready. Advent is a season of preparation, of getting our hearts ready for the birth of Jesus that we celebrate on December 25, Christmas Day. And so um, if you're here with us at Old Town Kids, you might remember that the first Sunday of Advent, we talked about a story where all the animals in the stable were getting ready for the birth of Jesus. It's an imagined story of what might have been happening in that stable right before Jesus was born. And you might remember that the second Sunday of Advent, we were talking about how the prophets were getting ready for hundreds of years. The people and the prophets were getting ready for the birth of Jesus, preparing the hearts of the people to know that God was sending a savior. And you might have been these last weeks at home using our Advent guide to get ready at your own home for the birth of Jesus. And maybe you're not using our Advent guide, but you are still getting ready at your home and that is great. And so today, we are going to keep talking about getting ready. And this time, we're talking about something very special. We are talking about Mary and Joseph who are getting ready to welcome a baby. You might be able to hear my special guest. I have here with me a baby. Now this baby isn't quite a newborn baby anymore. Hi, you have something to say? But Mary and Joseph were getting ready to welcome a baby. And so this week in Old Town Kids, whether you are worshiping with us from home or for the kids in our classroom as well, we are talking about Mary and Joseph and how they are getting ready for the birth of Jesus. Now, Mary and Joseph are about to become parents. And the way they were becoming parents is a little different from most people. In fact, they found out that God was giving them a very special baby coming straight from God, baby Jesus. And they found out in dreams, they found out that God was going to be sending this special child and was putting that child into their care and saying, you are going to be, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? You are going to be the earthly parents of God's son, baby Jesus. That's what God was telling through an angel to Mary and Joseph. Now, if you were Mary and Joseph, how do you think they might be getting ready? Well, I think when a parent is getting ready, they, when they know a baby is coming, they're probably gonna be getting some stuff ready, right? Like they're gonna wanna make sure if their baby has somewhere to sleep, like a bed, right? Hi, hi. And maybe they wanna have some things for the baby, some, some baby clothes, uh, some blankets for the baby. Yeah, you think that's important? Oh, diapers, right? Diapers are important. Uh, maybe they'll want some baby bottles. And how about, ooh, maybe some baby toys. Oh, here, you have that while I keep talking. Maybe some baby toys, right? And so one of the ways that parents get ready to welcome a baby is by having some things on hand to help them care for that baby. They might also want to learn how to take care of a baby, how to feed a baby and wash a baby, and how to help a baby sleep and all kinds of good stuff. Well, Mary and Joseph were preparing for Jesus in all those kinds of ways that parents for all of time have prepared to welcome a baby. But they were being prepared in special ways too because their baby was God's son. Their baby was coming to save the world. God had huge, enormous, very special plans for baby Jesus. And so this week in our classrooms and at home, if you're using our lesson materials, we are learning more about how God helped prepare Mary and Joseph for Christmas Day, for the birth of baby Jesus. And we will be walking alongside that story in our lesson today, thinking about how we can keep preparing like Mary and Joseph to welcome baby Jesus. So I hope you'll check out those lesson materials. And that's it from us. We'll see you next time. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, have a great week. Bye.